This is the Music History Today podcast for June 18th. On today's show, the big man passes away and Hendrix becomes Hendrix in America, at least, in the most epic way possible. First up, though, on this date in 1953, singer Coretta Scott married minister and civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In 1965, entertainer Rita Moreno married Dr. Leonard Gordon. In 1967, the Monterey Pop Festival finished with a performance by The Who and a now legendary performance by Mr. Jimi Hendrix in which he burned his guitar on stage. The performance cemented his legacy in America. In 1974, Peter Horlbeck of Rare Earth was arrested for tossing his drumsticks into a crowd during a concert. In 1982, the Glastonbury Music Festival in England got underway with Jackson Brown headlining that year. In 2000, the Experience Music Project Museum opened in Seattle, Washington. In 2002, a woman in Minnesota was ordered by a judge to pay music companies $1.92 million for illegally sharing 24 MP3s online. That was $80,000 for each song, by the way. In 2006, Rivers Cuomo of Weezer married his wife, Kyoko Ito. In 2009, the duo Audio Push was formed. In 2011, Noel Gallagher of Oasis married publicist Sarah McDonald. In 2012, singer Bobby Brown married wife Alicia Etheridge. And on that same day, the music TV reality show Love & Hip Hop Atlanta premiered. In classical music in 1821, Carl Maria von Weber premiered the opera The Marksman. And in 1944, conductor Willem Mengelberg conducted his final concert. In theater in 1949, the Broadway show along Fifth Avenue closed. In 1960, the Broadway show Destry Rides Again closed. And in 1983, the musical Pump Boys and Dinettes closed on Broadway. Albums that were released on June 18th include in 1971 when the Yardbirds released Remember. In 1972, Elvis Presley released Elvis as recorded live at Madison Square Garden. In 1973, Donny Hathaway released Extension of a Man and Joe Walsh released The Smoker You Drink, The Player You Get. In 1976, Brand X released Unorthodox Behavior. In 1982, King Crimson released Beat, and Fleetwood Mac released Mirage. In 1983, Pink Floyd released Works. In 1984, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds released From Her to Eternity, and Dolly Parton released Burlap and Satin. Elvis Costello and the Attractions released Goodbye Cruel World, and Rod Stewart released Camouflage. In 1985, Weird Al Yankovic released Dare to be Stupid. In 1990, Alias released their self-titled album. In 1991, Third Base released Derelicts of Dialect and Cher released Love Hurts. In 1995, Blondie released Beautiful, the remix album. In 1996, Beck released Odelay and Primitive Radio Gods released Rocket. AFI released Very Proud of You. Tony Braxton released Secrets. Little Feet released Live from Neon Park. The Ramones released Greatest Hits Live. Patti Smith released Gone Again. And the Brian Jonestown Massacre released their Satanic Majesty's Second Request. In 2001, Iggy Pop released Beat 'em Up. In 2002, Yes released Symphonic Live. In 2010, Eminem released Recovery. And in 2013, Fish released Ventura. Singles that were released on June 18th include in 1963 when Elvis Presley released You're the Devil in Disguise. In 1965, Marvin Gaye released Pretty Little Baby. In 1973, Paul McCartney and Wings released Live and Let Die. In 1975, Earth, Wind & Fire released That's the Way of the World. In 1976, Led Zeppelin released Candy Store Rock. In 1979, The Knack released My Sharona. In 1984, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds released In the Ghetto. In 1986, David Lee Roth released Yankee Rose. And in 1991, David Lee Roth's former band, Van Halen, 
release Pound Cake. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 18th include singer Alison Moyer of Yazoo, or Yaz as they were called in America, blues singer Sarah Martin, bassist Carl Radel of Derek and the Dominoes, composer and piano manufacturer Ignaz Pleyel, Composer Sammy Kahn, conductor Hans Vonk, conductor Manuel Rosenthal, country music singer Blake Shelton, country music singer Sandy Posey, country music singer Jimmy Allen, drummer Josh Dunn of 21 Pilots, folk music singer-songwriter Jackie Levin, Jack Barricat of All Time Low, jazz drummer Ray McKinley, Jerome Smith of Casey and the Sunshine Band, keyboardist Dizzy Reed of Guns N' Roses, the manager of Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, among many other things, Mr. Scooter Braun, singer Nathan Morris of Boys to Men, the legendary ex Beatle X-Wings member All Everything, Sir Paul McCartney, pianist Claude Helfer, rapper OT Genesis, rapper Silk the Shocker, rapper Takeoff of the group Migos, Rapper Trippy Red, Rod Ath of Rory Gallagher's backup band, singer and actress Jeanette McDonald, singer and actress Renee Olstead, singer Chevelle Shepard, singer Ella Chen of the group SHE, singer Jill Gibson, singer Nora, singer Rafaela Cara, singer Ray Lamontange, Singer Shao Nu, singer songwriter Lincoln Thompson, singer Will J, and William Beard of the group Face to Face. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 18th include composer Johann Quersfeld, who passed away in 1686 at the age of 43. Composer Michel Richard Dalalande passed away in 1726 at the age of 68. Composer Johann André passed away in 1799 at the age of 58. Composer Charles Haig passed away in 1821 at the age of 52. Composer Antony Weinert passed away in 1850 at the age of 99. Composer Joseph Stunt passed away in 1859 at the age of 65. Composer August Roquel passed away in 1876 at the age of 61. Composer Learmont Drysdale passed away in 1909 at the age of 42. The composer who published over 1,600 songs, Franjo Kuak, passed away in 1911 at the age of 76. Composer Francisco Lacerda passed away in 1934 at the age of 65. Composer August Reusner passed away in 1935 at the age of 64. Opera star Sass von Erschott passed away in 1939 at the age of 73. Trombonist and composer Arthur Pryor passed away in 1942 at the age of 71. Composer Daniel Olomia Robles passed away in 1942 at the age of 71. Composer Walter Reen passed away in 1955 at the age of 61. Composer Willie Burkard passed away in 1955 at the age of 55. Composer George Melitrino passed away in 1965 at the age of 56. Composer Fritz Mahler passed away in 1973 at the age of 71. Blues guitarist Luther Tucker passed away from heart issues in 1983 at the age of 57. Composer Miriam Gideon passed away in 1996 at the age of 89. Singer George Thurston passed away in 2007 at the age of 55. The big man, saxophonist Clarence Clemens of Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, passed away in 2011 at the age of 68. 
Composer Horace Silver passed away in 2014 at the age of 85. Singer Johnny Mann passed away in 2014 at the age of 85. Rapper Triple X Temptation passed away during a robbery in 2018 at the age of 20. Rapper Jimmy Wopo passed away in a drive-by shooting in 2018 at the age of 21. The woman nicknamed the Force's Sweetheart, English singer Vera Lynn, passed away in 2020 at the age of 103. And actress and drummer Teresa Taylor of the Butthole Surfers passed away from lung disease in 2023 at the age of 60. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 19th, when in 1946, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis played their first show together, and exactly 10 years later, in 1956, the duo broke up. 